Why didn't you figure this out? Why didn't you bring me here? Because you lied to us. You told us that the African guy was the, the doorman at your friend's building, not at your parents' building. You encrypted the truth. That's how good you are at betraying yourself. Mm. I told you that he wasn't ready for infinity. Oh, hey, don't start with that magic blanket bullshit, okay? It's not magic. It's just the way things are, Tommy. You and me in the air are actually tiny particles that are swirling around together. Look right here, you see? Okay. Well, look at the cracks between these particles and the cracks we fall through, the holes of nothingness. Exactly, because that's what I just experienced upstairs. Well, look closer. There are tiny particles connecting the larger cubes. Yeah, and then tinier cracks between the connections. And even tinier connections. And even tinier cracks. Yeah, but if you look close enough, you can't tell where my nose ends and space begins because they're unified. See? So what? You can't see any of this anyway. Do you see anything? No. But I want to debate this particle cube thing. You live all the time with things you can't see. You can't see electricity, can you? You can't see radio waves, but you accept them. Trust. Fuck trust! You better stay away from Katarina Albert, because she's going to lead you down the path of darkness. She was our prize graduate student until she went astray. No, I think that I am going to stay with her, and the cracks, and the pain, and the nothingness, because that's more real to me. That's what I feel. Word! OK, we're not swallowing it. No, we're going to work with Brad. And it'll all come back to you and interconnection. Brad, are you kidding me? I'm going to work on that prick, and it's all going to come back to pain and no connection. No. It's on. We'll see. We'll see.